so I am happy to present my brand new Canon M200. I will be doing a quick unboxing and also I'll be showing you some other accessories that I got as part of a bundle. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video. We are also going to go to Central Park and test this camera out. Here we go. And we're off. The first thing we look at is the stylish box that the Canon EOS M200 comes with. Now it does have some accessories of its own, but I did purchase some extra accessories. So stay tuned until the end. As you open the box, you come across the instructions manual, which we will just toss to the side because as any normal human being, I will not read the instructions manual before I start using a product. So the very first accessory we come across is the battery charger. Very, very handy. Then of course we have the Canon neck strap, which can be used to secure your camera around your neck as you go around taking photos because of course we would not want it to slip from our hands as we're using it. Then we have the Canon EF-M 15 to 45 millimeter lens. This is a compact stylish zoom lens for the EOS M series. The integral image stabilization can help capture sharp images even in low light and while taking panoramas. A special retraction mechanism shortens the length of the lens to just 1.76 inches when the camera is off to help make carrying and storing the lens and camera even easier. And then of course, the camera itself. It has a 24 megapixel sensor, great dual pixel autofocus. And in terms of image quality, it gives you a lot of bang for your buck. It is the follow-up of Canon's previous M100 camera, and it does share a lot of the similar features such as Wi-Fi connection, 4K video, 24 megapixel, 3 inch tilting touchscreen, 6.1 frames per second burst shooting. Now, why did I pick the EOS M200? It does not have all of the latest Canon technology, but it still packs a good sensor with reliable autofocus into a camera body that is just a bit bigger than your typical iPhone. Another great feature of this camera is the fact that you can switch between different types of lenses as you progress in your career in photography or God willing as a YouTube content creator. So with a good lens in front of this sensor, you're getting the same image quality as for example, a Canon EOS DSLR camera, but in a much smaller portable package. Now, some people have asked me, why not go for the M50? The combination of small size camera and good image quality is really appealing to me. The M200 captures more resolution, meaning more details in your images. And if you opt for one of the system's bright prime lenses, you'll likely get better low light performance. Something else that sold me was the mirrorless camera. I find that just the fact of seeing yourself as you are shooting a video is extremely important and it can help you save time with editing and also find the best angle for your shot. This camera is about 4.3 inch in length, 2.6 inch in height and 1.4 inches in depth and it weighs just close to 300 grams. The microphone produces a really great quality sound and it also fairly reduces background noise. Now this camera does not have built-in image stabilization. However, I find that even when I walk with it in my hand without any tripod or any other device trying to stabilize it, it is still pretty decent. Now I find that instead of buying the camera from Canon directly, it is always best to check on Amazon for any special offers because many times you would find a bundle for exactly the same price as the camera. First stop is this soft, adjustable and skid-proof case with shoulder strap made out of padded elastic neoprene to absorb the impact just in case you bang your camera as you are traveling with it. It does have an anti-slip weave to prevent the strap from falling off the shoulder and several pockets on the outside where you can store and keep your personal items or your camera accessories. And what I really appreciate is that on the inside it has the separator which creates a safe space where you can keep your lens and your camera separately as you travel. Then you have this digital slave flash, which is an external flash unit that provides extra lighting when it is triggered by a built-in camera flash or any other flash for that matter. 
A slave unit is particularly useful for those who want a more powerful flash but don't have a hot shoe on their digital camera. Next up we have this monopod. This is used by wildlife photographers or sports photographers or bird watchers. So depending whether your images or videos are more stable or you need more movement, this might be a more easier and adaptable solution for you than a tripod, which you need to take the time to set up and is not as fast and easy to move around as a monopod. Then next up, we have this tripod that came with the bundle. Now, what I particularly love about this one is that it is a spider tripod, which means that the legs are flexible and I can place it in any position I wish. Your tripod can easily adapt to any irregular surface, ensuring that your camera is in place and focused on the correct shot. Now, let's fast forward to some other accessories that came in this bundle and that might be very useful for some more ambitious photographers.